About to hit today's session, we got five by one kilometer on the track, meeting up with my buddy Marco. And we are also going to hit a full upper body session. So we are going for 350 per kilometer. If I feel great, then the last kilometer, I'm gonna give it an all time effort. See if we can do a little faster than my PR of 322 for the kilometer. It's been a long time since I even tried doing a one kilometer PR. So we're gonna just do it at the end of the session and see if there's any progress. We did the five by one K. We did a 90 minute upper body and core session with my mom. We dropped the Tesla off to get service and picked up a Model S, which is pretty cool. We've got a, a Model S as a, as a loaner vehicle for, just for the day. Now I'm doing an 80 minute cycle session at 70% FTP. So I'll be maintaining about 160, 170 watts for the 80 minutes. It's beautiful out. It's nice and warm, 30 degrees Celsius, humid, it's sunny. I'm gonna enjoy that one. We've got about 80 grams of carbs worth of scratch all set up on the bike. I'm just gonna be listening to an audiobook. I'm actually listening to Trading in the Zone for the second time. So we're gonna listen to that as I bike around, get the session done. And it's already about 4 p.m. I basically did the run session in the morning after training a few clients, then went to drop off the Tesla with my mom, went to the gym for about an hour and a half there, came back, ate, showered up, 
and then went grocery shopping. Just got back from grocery shopping. Now we're hitting the bike session. Then we're gonna edit the previous vlogs and then read for the last hour before bed. Just got back from the ride, averaged 175 watts over the 80 minutes and went 37.5 kilometers. Post ride, we're having this cranberry almond cereal with a scoop of cookies and cream whey protein. After I apply to emails, I'm just gonna edit a video to be posted and then read for the last hour. It's already 6.30 p.m. So I go to sleep about 8.30, 9 p.m. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Share it with your friend. If you have someone who's training for triathlon, this might be the video in the series for them. Good morning, I just got back in from training a few clients. It's now 8 a.m. I'm just gonna have a meal, trade from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m., then go swim. After a shower, we have a full body workout, going to the gym for that one, but won't be able to record. Later on, we're actually gonna be doing a long, easy 12K run. It'll be at around a six minutes per kilometer pace. The swimming went surprisingly well. I did a 400 meter interval and I actually did it in seven minutes and 10 seconds, which averaged out to be around 140 per 100 meters, which is fantastic for me. Then I ended up doing two 300s and after that I did four 150s, averaging that 130, 140 minute per 100 pace. So I was really impressed with how everything was going, to be honest. I did just get in from the weight session. I did core with it as well. Now I just had two scoops of scratch, rehydrated, and now I'm heading out for the 12K run. I'm using the Polar chest strap with my Garmin watch. And I essentially compare the Garmin watch to the Polar chest strap. Been doing that for the last few runs just to see if there's any discrepancy. And I am really finding more accuracy with the chest strap. The watch has a real significant delay in terms of detecting heart rate. Like as an example, when I start a run, the chest strap will, let's say, get me right to 140 beats per minute, where the watch will stay at 110, 115, 120 for a minute or two minutes even and then eventually go to 140. We're gonna keep the chest strap on. It's a hot one today, 32 degrees Celsius, all hydrated up. Just gonna go to the washroom so I don't need to go when I'm out there and uh, I'll be back in about an hour or so. So we're gonna maintain a six minute per kilometer pace for the 12K, bringing it to about 110 or so for the whole entire run. After that, we'll come back and stretch because my heel, my ankle is starting to lock up. When I do too many long distance runs, that does happen. It has to do with my stride. I've been working on it. I've been needing to or activate the toes more by grabbing the toes and I'm doing that. So we're making progress there. We just got back in from the run, ended up being 14 kilometers and we ran it at an average pace of 520 per kilometer. I felt really good. Tomorrow's a rest day, so I just went for it and we finished the run in about an hour and 14 minutes. Just gonna stretch now for about 15 minutes, really make sure my feet don't lock up. My feet felt very good. I just focused on leg turnover the whole time. Breathing felt great. I'm drinking a, uh, a, a post-workout shake, two scoops of chocolate whey with a bunch of frozen berries. And we're gonna have a nice big meal. It's already six o'clock. So we're gonna just wind down, shower. Post-workout meal is haddock with coconut basmati rice. And I've got these BCAs here, extremely refreshing, blended up, it's grape flavor. This really quenches my thirst right now after that huge run. There's two types of people in this world. Either you get motivated by someone doubting you, saying that you can't do something or you won't do something, or you get motivated by someone believing in you, someone saying, hey, you can do this, keep pushing, you got this. Personally, if someone says I can't do something or won't do something, watch out, because I will do it way quicker than anyone could ever anticipate it. I will accomplish anything faster than anyone could ever t anticipate. I don't know about you, but I get way more motivated by proving someone wrong than someone believing me. I have so many people who believe in me. I don't have any haters or anything, which is awesome, but sometimes I kind of wish I do deep down because when someone doubts you and someone thinks you can't do something and someone openly is against you or says you can't do this, it's such great fuel to use. So let me, let me know in the comments below, are you more fueled by someone doubting you, thinking you, you can't do something, or are you more fueled when, by someone believing you, thinking you can do it, and saying you got this? Subscribe for more vlogs like this, and I'll see you in the next one.